Okay, this is the first tutorial. Um, basically, this one is going to go over um, spawning and kind of setting up the, the first person controller. Um, at least part one. This is probably gonna, there's going to be multiple parts, but this is part one. Um, so basically, in this one, I've already set up the the you know first person controller, but you know I'll redo it again. Um, basically, what you want to do is you have your standard first person controller. Create a uh, a game object, just a cube, any old cube. Um, scale it down, of course. Um, uh, create another game object. Um, empty. Call this uh, weapons. And move weapons generally yeah to the same point that you're gonna want the uh, the guns to spawn at on the, the character um, so first let's move the controller uh, gun to where we'd like it to be at it's not really uh, good right there but I think that's okay right there um, so basically take weapons drag it onto the main camera and then take cube or let's, let's rename this something better gun uh, and drag that onto weapons um, so now if we play because they're both parented to the main camera whatever whenever the main camera rotates um, it gets the same rotation as the, the main camera um, so now that that's set uh, create a folder or, or not but um, it would be nice to organize your scripts Called scripts and then create a new new script and call it master spawn script and let's check that out. This is gonna take care of uh, all of our uh, spawning in the game. Um, but first, actually, let's set up the spawner. Just create uh, an empty game object and call it spawner. Doesn't matter where it is in the game world. Just drag the script onto it and we're ready to go. Okay, so. After uh, Modern Development freaks out because um, I just changed the, the script. Um, here we go. So basically, this is Unity 3.5's uh, Modern Development. It adds Pragma Strict that disables, you know, strict uh, typing, cast typing. So you're gonna have to actually be like, you know, var variable script, uh, you know, master spawn script. If you want to access equals blah 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 blah, you can't just be like you know it equals you know whatever you want it to be. Um, so, but that doesn't it's not gonna really affect us. But um, so what we're gonna start off with is a uh, array of the spawn points. So um, it's a transform array. Uh, so that's gonna hold all of the spawn points that we have for pretty much uh, you know anything um, these will be like enemy spawn points so if you want to name it you know enemy spawn points that, that might be a better name um, but for me I don't, I don't really care but uh, ne the next thing we need is basically we need a, an array to hold all of the the enemy prefabs that we have um, so you can you know you can add as many types of enemies as you want to and just spawn depending on what type you want whatever you know declare whatever position in the array so you can just be like you know enemy want whoa change the scope <sighs> Windows Vista come on I should really upgrade to seven but I'm not um, enemy prefabs uh, equals game object array well, prefabism. Fabism. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty funny. Uh, so now, uh, oh, look at this. Look at the mistake I've already made because I'm a dummy. This is JavaScript, and since I told you the thing about PragmaScript, I'm freaking out right now. So, getting a little freaky. Uh, basically, what we want now, uh, you don't have to, but it's probably highly recommended because you don't want the enemies to spawn at the same time like you know you spawn one boom instantly another one spawns you want a little like wait time in between so you can you can 
basically declare a couple variables um, for like yield time. Uh, you can have a min um, equal to like whatever you want, but I'll just set mine to two, and then yield time max. You can also, since these are public, you can set them in the inspector and change them around if you want. But um, basically, next thing is we want a variable to hold. Uh, each time an enemy spawns, basically the, the amount of, of enemy spawns, um, or, hmm, performance is slow, hmm, I should really not show this message again, screw you, Microsoft, uh, so, we'll basically create a uh, static variable enemy counter, um, and set it equal to zero. Um, and basically that's gonna we're gonna update that every time we spawn an enemy um, so and we make it static so other uh, scripts can access it without having to like you know be like this blah 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 you know declare and store an object because um, you know it's just more work uh, next thing we're gonna need um, if you want this is something I like I put in because I think it's kind of boring if they all spawn at the same same spot. And sometimes, let's say the yield time, um, you get lucky and or unlucky in this point, and uh, they spawn like really fast. They'll spawn like on top of each other, and they'll both land, they'll land on top of each other. So you can basically create like uh, spawn offsets um, for like uh, X and Y if you want. So spawn X offset um, min. And set it equal to uh, whatever you want, really, but just set it to zero for now, I guess, so you can test it out in the inspector. But, um, whoa, can't type today. Max equals zero, basically. And you can do the same thing for the Z um, to add more, you know, variety. But you could add a Y one, but I don't know why, because it would just be. It's going to be having a rigid body, so it's going to fall to the ground anyway. Um, so now that we have that set up, um, you know, you can fiddle around with those. Uh, we're going to set up a default spawn number. Basically, we'll hold, you know, the, the for wave one, the base number that will basically augment each time the wave increases. So it's like, you know, wave two will increase, you know, based on default. And whatever else you give it, um, whatever else you give the you know little algorithm. So variable default spawn number. I'm, I like setting nine to five because um, it's wave one. Um, and then basically that's about it for the variables. Um, so now we're going to start with basically the functions. Um, which get pretty crazy to be honest. Uh, so first function, spawn enemies. We'll do the we'll get right to it, you know. No, no sense in waiting. Put it above just because I don't want to like scroll down. <laughs> um, we're gonna pass it a integer. That's basically the wave number. Um, so, oh, pff, you know, it's one variable I completely forgot. You do want to probably have a a variable, basically wave number. Um, you know, that is equal to zero or whatever. Um, so. Or actually, since it's at the start, you always want it to be equal to one. I guess you could say. Um, and basically, in this spawn enemies, it's we're gonna have a for loop that basically is just gonna keep keep going through. Um, you'll see. You'll see. Let's let's let's, let's get going. Let's get going. Uh, so spawn number um, variable spawn num. We're just gonna create a, a variable right here. Um, is equal to the default spawn number plus uh, right here this number that we're adding is how much uh, we'll be adding oh. 
No, didn't check my uh, 